<laughs> no words need exchanging. You are Cristina Ronaldo. We are Barcelona. <laughs>I'm not afraid of just maturing. I think I'm still, I'm, I'm more stupid now than I will be in 10 years and that's a lovely thought. <laughs> Speaking of duets and covers, you do lots of violin covers. How do you, uh, do you pick your personal favorites or do you pick the ones that you think you can, you, you know the chords for? Sometimes there are great songs. Uh, I don't think I will start to mention because there are oh, so no, no, many no, no, great, no, no. Don't but worry. there are some great songs that wouldn't ju they just wouldn't go with the violin. You know, it's oh, it's it's sad to admit it, but not all songs, you know, you know. Yeah. But uh, some songs go well to the violin, like the Netherlands. Oh. Yeah. Outlaw in them. Oh yeah. Have you seen it? It it goes very well with the fiddle. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I you particularly see enjoy it. the Norway uh, Melody Grand Prix. I think you did all of them actually. You did all ten, didn't you? That was yeah. That was amazing. easier. And then somebody said, "Oh, you should do the same for Eurovision." <laughs> Oh yeah, 43 countries. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. But um, but yeah, it's it's nice to don't for, you know, I try not to forget that this is not only a competition. It's mostly a competition, right? But uh, it's a music festival, which yeah, is actually, which you, yeah, it is support each other, and uh, it's difficult to support all 43 countries with a, a video that would take some hours. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but anyway, we support each other in other ways, so, yeah. And, and uh, one year ago, you know, I just had this idea of doing a music which would just fit, hopefully, on stage, on the Eurovision stage. Um, I just made all these arrangements to do, to do a show, and uh, we already had some rehearsals. And do you enjoy the show, Deben? I, 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 I will. I've, I've followed you for yeah. many years. Coming back into Eurovision again, what's changed? I love this color. What is it? It's like, uh, it's not red, right? It's bur no. bur Burgunder or I something. I call it Ryback. <laughs> Thanks. Ry Ryback <laughs> strikes back. <laughs> Ryback at you. Yeah. So coming into Eurovision again, what's changed this time? From back in Moscow. Well, first of all, I, I don't speak that much Russian because there is, it's, it's, it's become more, yeah, yeah, uh, more English for me and I should have practiced more. <laughs> well, you speak Russian. You're speaking to Philip Kikorov at his party in Russia. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so we, you speak it fluently enough. We, him and me, we speak our own language. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah. No, no, but... Uh, it's sometimes it's difficult to be multilingual in a situation like this where like every every 10 second it's a new language you have to answer in but uh it's like N norwegian sure english you got sure. it and are you enjoying the experience this time the second time yeah yeah more like, or less yeah like i said the thought of maturing and um just I feel I have more energy to listen to my team now, you know. Um, while nine years ago, I would say maybe that, hey, yeah, that's a good idea, but well, it wasn't mine, so, <laughs> you know. But while now I got more clever, I understand that people make my song better. Yeah. So, so, yeah.